Uh, hi, my name's Tom Carman, and this is my exhibition of pictures called um, Places I've Been. I wanted to call it Where I've Been, but Damien thought Places I've Been was better, and my partner Jan thought All Over the Place was better. But anyway, <laughs> we've ended up with this tile. And um, basically all these pictures are done en plein air, as they say. I, do, I just have two small rooms in a terrace house where I store everything, but basically they're all done outside. Um, sometimes I ride on my bicycle to do watercolours, other times I drive my car to places or I walk. And um, quite a few of them are in Sydney and some are different places outside Sydney. Um, I thought I might start with these pictures from Wyala. I've, um, these ones along the wall here. I've been going to the same sheep station near Wyala for uh, 20 years now. Um, and I go there every year, pretty much about the same time in March, around shearing time. This one that you're showing now is a place called Two Mile Paddock at Middleback Station and then every time I go to Middleback I uh, paint this paddock a different version of it. Because the uh, landscape's so ancient and slow growing it doesn't ever change that much but every time I do a picture of it somehow it's different. Not so much in the silhouette of the trees but the way I paint it. And this another one along here is of the road, very typical of that saltbush country. Um, which I, I, it's really grown on me. It's not spectacular like the Flinders Ranges, but I really love going there. I painted these pictures on wooden panels. I often get my panels out of old wardrobes I see on the side of the road. I, I take the side panels out of the drawer and I prime them with about, you know, six coats of um, uh, white undercoat. Um, and um, then I carry a bag over my shoulder when I go out painting and I have various size panels in it. I have some square ones and some skinny ones. And when I see where I'm going to paint, I decide what format I'm going to use. Um, we're moving on. Moving on. Moving along the wall. This, uh, these are some Sydney pictures here. Uh, this is a building near um, Hyde Park, which is near Museum Station. When you walk out of Museum Station and look up, you see that building. So I went there in the evening and I did that from some drawings I did. And this one's the lake in Centennial Park. I originally had a picture with, with a dozen pictures of the same motif and I decided it didn't work and I just selected one out of it. This is the view from across the lane from where I live in Woomera Lane. I've lived there for 20 years and it's the windows across there are where I used to go there 30 years ago, 35 years ago and visit an old man in that mm, house. Crikey. And this is a, one of my triptiches of, um, of the wharf, the container terminal at, at Port Botany. Um, I did a whole lot of pictures down there. They were doing some new work, some new landscaping, and I was able to s sit by the edge of the foreshore drive and paint these. Um, I really like it out there. Oh no, that's yeah. great colours. And this is not far from there. I, I've of, I often go to cemeteries to paint, partly because I, I kind of like the uh, cemeteries. They're very, I find them very peaceful and, you know, it kind of does remind you about your mortality and everything. But I, 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 um, I've often visited the cemetery at Port Botany and just at the edge of the cemetery is this coral tree that's really windswept and it, around this time of year, actually springtime, they're very, I love them when they're, they're all just red flowers and the branches are bare. And this is another view from, it's really from the steps that lead down from our kitchen into our backyard. In the winter you can see that this building, which during the day is quite ugly, but at night... It's the same, is it the same It's a different thing? building to the oh, one up okay. there. At night it becomes a disembodied sort of group of lights. Um, these, this triptych is of um, Stockton Bridge near Newcastle. I um, just sat down on the rocks by the water and it's, it's more... The, the bridge is like it's kind of cipher in which I can depict different lights and different quality of light on the water. I did them over three weeks. Oh, they're really lovely. And then I... And this is um, just behind William Street, in, uh, off William Street in King's, King's Cross, I know, or it would be Darlinghurst, St Peter's Lane. Where you, it's like a, a knife cut through the back of all the old, all the houses. The, I like the sides of buildings that aren't meant to be seen. Uh, yes. This one here is of a friend's on a friend's property near Mudgee, and I actually saw a platypus early in the morning on that body of water in this little creek. And so they were very excited because they hadn't seen the platypus there before. 
And, um, it's all very exciting when you see nature. Yeah, it's really exciting to see a photo of this. <laughs> this is Coogee. I, I call it the Grand Pacific Hotel, this white building. I've done quite a few versions of it because it really sort of jumps out from all the beige and terracotta coloured apartment blocks around it. And that was my wet weather venue because you can sit in a picnic shelter and paint when it's raining. Um, this is another one of the um, container wharf and it was done from a new car park just a bit between the airport and the container wharf and I went there last week actually you can't paint that view anymore because they've built a bridge oh. across to the new wharf area. Okay. Uh, this is Bronte on a winter morning seen from the cliff walk just near the, near the old cutting where the tr trams used to leave Bronte. When we hung the exhibition we decided to put all the works on paper in what Damien calls the project room. It's a simplified house oh, process okay. of hanging because we came in here where I had about 95 pictures. I culled about 15. Oh, you're kidding me. And um, we started off with saying we'll, we'll put the, um, these ones in here. I should talk about the picture of Matilda. In March, beginning of March this year, I broke my collarbone and I, had, I couldn't use my right arm for about five weeks. And when my arm came out of the sling, it was very disabled, I had a thing called frozen shoulder, so I could only move in a small trajectory and this is the first drawing I did really after I broke my shoulder was of Matilda. And the nice thing about breaking the shoulder is I slowed right down and I did lots of, I was very patient. And that's of you, yeah, Matilda. But, she, but for, she did that one first. She had to do a portrait of, of someone for school and um, she said, well you sit for me dad and so I sat in the kitchen door. Mm -hmm. We'd just been to the Easter show that day, I remember, so we were both pretty tired. It's pretty good. And she drew me, and she wasn't really happy with it. She thought I'd made my chin too big, but I think it's a pretty good drawing. And then I, I drew hers directly afterwards. And um, my partner, Jan, said, oh, you should frame them together. So that's yeah. what we did. Um, that's good. That's um, excellent. And then I went back to the Easter show, actually, two days after that day. And I, I started doing this series of drawings it's something I've actually done before, drawing the animals at the show. I used to do it every year when it was quite near me at Moore Park, but um, and then I, this is the first time I've done it out of, out of Homebush. So I spent two days, um, you know, I filled, I think, about three or four of pads with, with line drawings of all the different animals. So I particularly like the geese and the cows. And if you go to the Easter show at different times, they've moved a whole lot of animals away and they bring new ones in. They do the beef and then they do the dairy. So You've got to um, get in there early. In January um, this year we did the Cradle Mountain Overland track and I did these watercolours during that walk, which was, um, it was quite a tough walk, six days, and we had to carry all our own food in, so I just had a watercolour. I probably took too many watercolour pads. Uh, was, you can never take I took the travel scrabble too. <laughs> um, and these are the watercolours I did. It was pretty tricky, the, the one on the bottom right actually was the only day it was fine. And Which was, how many, um, how many watercolour pads did you take? I think I took five, and I should have only taken one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always afraid I'm going to run out of something. Up the top here, this, this is, one, actually this is my favourite trip ditch in a way. It's, it's a um, Perth in summer. Every year for about the last 18 years, or every second year we go to Perth for summer because um, my partner Jan's mum and dad lived there. Her dad died about uh, three years ago, so just her mum there now, but we've always tried to go and visit the family in Western Australia at Christmas time and in the afternoons when the wind comes up people are often sort of napping in the house and I go off and paint along the seashore. This is um, Nielsen Park where we're at our favourite swimming spot in summer and picnic spot and I did a series of pictures of the people sitting in the shade of the banks here. And the other place I like to swim is Quadelli. A friend of mine calls it the sheep dip because it's, it's like a, a giant sort of concrete solution tank, um, but it's a great I, it's a great place for me to paint. As I can sit on the, above the cliff on the uh, on the um, northern side of the beach there, and people don't disturb me much. And I sit and paint all the people coming down to bathe on different lights. It's a good place for um, people only just learning how to swim, mm. and it's so pretty down there. Um, I did a big series of 8 by 10 inch canvases um, uh, early this year. Come in a little bit. Yeah. Um, this is from North Bondi where you sit in the little park. And I was just trying to paint the way the waves come in across the shallow water. Um, and this is um, 
This painting I actually did while my daughter was doing soccer training. I quickly whisked down to the cemetery and painted the Norfolk Pines at dusk. Done, these are often done quite quickly, these paintings, in about an hour and a half. I have don't a, muck about, do you? No, I have about 40 brushes I carry with me so that I don't have to waste time oh, yeah, washing them out. I, I can paint with my left hand, but I'm quite right-handed. But I, when I worked as a house painter, I had to learn to cut in window frames with my left hand. Because oh, so the, did old, I. the old painters I worked for insisted I do that because then you didn't have to move your ladder. So. Yeah, exactly. But in other ways, I'm very right-handed. These are uh, images from Canberra and the area behind Canberra. I go and visit my son, who's at uni there, Lake Burley Griffin, in a place called Wee Jasper. And there's one odd one out in this group is the picture of, it's not Stockton, it's Fern Bay. It's near Stockton in the, day, in the evening. A friend of mine um, actually bought that. She grew up at the, her father worked at the hospital um, there, which was for the, um, the psychiatric hospital, which has quite a sad history in Stockton. There's not many people left there anymore. Um, this group in here, another picture of the, the sheep dip at um, Clovelly. And dawn, I, I try and when I go to Middleback Station, I try and get up every morning before dark. Because usually at home when I'm with my, looking after my kids, I'm making school lunches and things, I don't get that chance. So I get up and try and paint the dawn. That's a beauty. Um, oh, with my little, I put a little LED headlamp on so I can see what I'm doing. And gradually as it gets light, you can see more clearly. But initially I, I have to use the headlamp. And, um, there's another one of the same coral tree at, um, at Botany, Port Botany. I did quite a few versions of it. Uh, each one sort of that's kind of different. Beauty. Yeah, that's one of my favourites of it actually. Huh? Yeah, that's really yeah. lovely. I like the frame too. Yeah. I, um, yeah, years ago someone made up that moulding for me and I've tried to copy it and um, I had painted them myself for the larger canvases. Uh, that one is the cliffs at Thompson's Bay. Years ago, actually, a friend of mine fell off the cliffs near there. A friend of mine called Jim Waits, and he was nearly died, and um, but he was okay. rescued. He still has lots of bits of titanium in his body from that oh, accident. No. That's rainy day. This is the same coral tree at um, Port Botany from the, from the other side, seen from behind. It's pretty good. That ultramarine sky, a yeah. really dark sky behind it. But your colours right there. Uh, did these? That's not far from Botany at Pagewood, the orica plant. Um, at night, I did these by the side of the highway. It was a bit freaky because the car hooms come past you at night and they yell things at you. And I'm sitting there with my little headlamp on in a little pool of light beside the road. And as they come past, so I went there three evenings. Another one of the coral tree. And. Um, this is a, a big, bigger version of the building that I see from our kitchen steps. And that's like the... It's like the trip ditch oh, yes. the walls. Um, this is a... I go down to Kararong, down on the south coast, near Jarvis Bay. And this is at the end of the house. My sister has a house down there and I, um, I painted a few versions of this little cottage with a blue-green roof um, at the end of the street. Beautiful. I love the sky on that one. And this is the um, Clavelli. No, this is Waverley Cemetery. Oh, I Waverley actually Cemetery. did that. I had to wait for the cars to. A I did it from the other side of the road. I wanted to paint the light coming through the gate, and that's near Canberra, Newcastle Harbour, seen from Stockton. I did a series of paintings in Stockton, and this is another one of from um, that one there with the passing clouds. It's one of my favourites in a way. You know, is it of that? typical of that country, um, west of Wyala, where I go. And that's a West Australian one over there, the beach at Margaret River. Where I went in January. And these, these last two here, they're um, just near where I live. I live in Darlinghurst, above Brushcutters Bay Park. And I, over the years, I've done a lot of paintings at this tree in all different times of year. It's just a plain tree. I think I know that. And it's near the cafe, it used to be the toilet block. And I've painted it every different time of year. I should, I should hate it because I get an allergy from the plain tree um, fur. It gives me really itchy eyes, but it's a beautiful tree, that one. Well, I yeah. think you've done a great job. Okay. It's a really beautiful show. Thanks, Flo. <laughs> <laughs>